Imagine a world where even the most iconic structures have a lifespan and inevitably face a dramatic end. This is the reality for the International Space Station. The ISS, as it's more commonly known, isn't just another satellite orbiting our planet. But at the end of 2030, NASA plans to crash the ISS into the ocean after it is replaced with a new space station. It's a symbol of international cooperation, a beacon of scientific progress, and a testament to human tenacity and ingenuity. For over two decades it has been our home in space, making invaluable contributions to our understanding of life beyond the confines of Earth. This floating laboratory has witnessed the dawn of new eras in space exploration, hosted hundreds of astronauts from different nations, and been an integral part of countless scientific experiments. Yet, like all things, it too has a finite existence. It's a sobering thought. This magnificent structure, glowing like a star as it streaks across our night sky, is not permanent. It won't be there forever. The ISS faces a multitude of challenges in its celestial journey. The harsh environment of space, the constant threat of space debris, and the toll of time on its infrastructure, all pose significant threats to its longevity. Each day, the ISS, which zips around our planet at a speed of approximately 17,500 miles per hour, is exposed to these relentless forces. So, how will the ISS meet its end? Will it be a slow demise succumbing to the rigors of space over time, or will it be a swift and dramatic end? The answer might be quite shocking. The fate of the ISS has been carefully planned. It will not drift aimlessly in space, becoming a derelict monument to human ambition. No. The ISS will meet its end in a blaze of glory, crashing into the Earth's atmosphere and disintegrating into nothingness. But what challenges does the ISS face in orbit, and how will it meet its end? Let's delve deeper into this mystery. The story of the ISS is a tale of triumph, innovation, and ultimately the acceptance of our own impermanence. It's a tale that reminds us even in the vast, timeless expanse of space, nothing lasts forever. The ISS, despite its scientific marvel, faces numerous challenges in its orbit. Now imagine a car that's been running non-stop for over two decades, it's bound to face a few hiccups, right? The International Space Station is no different. This orbiting laboratory, sailing 16 times a day around the Earth, has been operating non-stop since the close of the 20th century. The most immediate challenge it faces is space debris. Picture this, tiny fragments of space junk, no bigger than a fleck of paint, hurtling through the vacuum at speeds of up to 17,500 miles per hour. A collision with one of these fragments could cause significant damage to the ISS. And let's not forget, the number of these fragments has been steadily increasing over the years, but it's not just about dodging space debris. The ISS, like any other structure, is subject to the wear and tear of time. The station's aging infrastructure is another hurdle. Systems fail, equipment malfunctions, and the harsh conditions of space take their toll. It's a constant battle against time and the elements to keep the station up and running. And let's not underestimate the human factor. Astronauts aboard the ISS are tasked with a myriad of maintenance and repair tasks, often under extreme conditions. Their work is crucial in keeping the station operational, but it's a monumental task, and one that's only getting harder as the ISS continues to age. These challenges are not insurmountable, but they do put a strain on the station's resources and the astronauts who call it home. They also put a ticking clock on the lifespan of the ISS. But the question remains, how will the ISS meet its end? The answer might surprise you, but that's a story for another scene. When it comes to the fate of the ISS, there are a few scenarios that could play out. The International Space Station, an iconic structure that has been orbiting Earth for decades, is no longer sustainable. It's faced with a myriad of challenges, from the relentless onslaught of space debris to the creeping decay of its aging infrastructure. So, what becomes of this celestial outpost? One possibility is a controlled deorbit. This is not as alarming as it sounds. Picture a graceful swan dive into the Earth's atmosphere. A final crew will be sent to the ISS to retrieve any remaining equipment or items of historical significance. The ISS would then be strategically maneuvered to reduce its orbital altitude. This process, known as deorbiting, would eventually lead to the station re-entering the Earth's atmosphere. Here, the intense heat generated by friction would cause most of the station to burn up. Any remaining fragments would then be guided to fall into Point Nemo, a remote area of the Pacific Ocean between New Zealand and South America, known as the Spacecraft Cemetery. 
But what if things don't go as planned? What if, for some reason, a controlled deorbit isn't possible? That brings us to the second scenario, an uncontrolled re-entry. This is the stuff of Hollywood disaster movies. Without the ability to guide its descent, the ISS could potentially re-enter the Earth's atmosphere at any location. The chances of debris causing damage or harm on Earth are incredibly low, but not zero. These scenarios might seem shocking, but they are part of the reality of operating structures in space. The International Space Station, as much as it's a symbol of human achievement and scientific progress, is also a testament to the harsh and unforgiving nature of space. But the most shocking scenario of them all is the intentional crash of the ISS into Earth's atmosphere. Yes, there's a plan on the table to intentionally crash this colossal structure into our atmosphere, but that's a story for our next scene. So stick around as we delve deeper into the shocking reality of the ISS's endgame. The ISS will be intentionally crashed into the Earth's atmosphere. A statement that might sound outlandish, even unbelievable at first, but let's dive into the details. The International Space Station, like all things, has a finite lifespan. The harsh reality is that the ISS won't orbit the Earth indefinitely. So what's the plan for this orbiting laboratory's final days? The agencies responsible for the ISS, including NASA, the European Space Agency, and Russia's Roscosmos, have been considering the most feasible and the safest options. And the consensus is a controlled deorbiting of the station. In simple terms, it involves using the station's onboard propulsion system or a separate vehicle to gradually lower the ISS's orbit. Eventually, the space station would enter the Earth's atmosphere, where the immense heat and pressure would cause it to burn up and disintegrate. It's a dramatic, even sensational scenario to imagine. This iconic structure, a beacon of international cooperation and scientific discovery, hurtling towards Earth in a blaze of glory. But it's also the safest and most responsible choice. This controlled demise ensures that the disintegration happens over an unpopulated area, minimizing any potential risk to human life on Earth. This shocking revelation might stir a mix of emotions. It's a sobering reminder of the inevitability of change, even in the vast expanse of space. The ISS will one day meet its end, but it's important to remember that this end serves a purpose, ensuring the safety of our planet and its inhabitants. This dramatic end is not only shocking but also inevitable. Our journey with the ISS may conclude with a fiery spectacle, but its legacy will continue to inspire future generations of space explorers and scientists. Despite its inevitable fate, the ISS leaves a legacy of invaluable scientific contributions. This orbiting laboratory has been a beacon of international cooperation and scientific advancement for over two decades, a symbol of humanity's aspiration to understand and explore the cosmos. But every star, however bright, must eventually fade. The ISS, like all things, has a natural lifespan. And as we've discussed, it faces a dramatic end, not in the vacuum of space, but in the fiery embrace of our own atmosphere. This end, though shocking, is a necessary measure to ensure the safety of our planet from the potential risks of space debris. The International Space Station, in its years of operation, has served as the world's leading laboratory for conducting cutting-edge research in biology, human biology, physics, astronomy, and meteorology. Scientists aboard the station have made discoveries that have changed our understanding of life on Earth and beyond, from the effects of microgravity on the human body to the behavior of fluids in space. Furthermore, the ISS has been a crucial testing ground for technologies that will drive future space exploration. It has helped us learn how to live and work in space, preparing us for longer missions to the Moon, Mars, and beyond. But perhaps most importantly, the ISS has shown us what humanity can achieve when we work together. It stands as a testament to the power of international collaboration, a symbol of our shared desire to explore the unknown and push the boundaries of what is possible. As we look to the future, the lessons learned and the advancements made aboard the ISS will continue to guide us. The station's legacy will live on in the scientists it has inspired, the discoveries it has enabled, and the path it has paved for future space exploration. As we say goodbye to this iconic structure, we remember its profound impact on space exploration. The International Space Station, though destined for a fiery end, leaves behind a legacy that will continue to illuminate the path of human progress long after its final descent. Now that you know the shocking fate of the ISS, we'd love to hear your thoughts. Imagine the International Space Station, an iconic structure of human achievement in space, 
meeting its dramatic end, it's a story of triumph, of challenges overcome, and eventually, of a dignified farewell to a star-studded stage. We'd relish your perspective on this narrative. How do you feel about the inevitable disintegration of the ISS? What are your thoughts on the scientific advancements it has made possible? And what about the future? What do you think lies ahead for space exploration after the ISS? We at Time Pilgrimage are on a mission to bring you the most fascinating stories from the cosmos and beyond. If you've enjoyed this journey as much as we have, consider subscribing. We have a galaxy full of content waiting for you. So, join us in this journey of discovery and exploration as we continue to unravel the mysteries of our universe. Until next time.